I'm Sundari Carmody and I'm an artist working at Ace Open Studios. I work mainly with sculpture. I think I always knew I was interested in art making, but I was studying journalism and photography in Perth. And then I was visiting Adelaide and I really liked the photography department at UniSA. And that is the medium that I thought I would stick at. And then after graduating, I started working more and more with physical objects. Through an intuitive process while making these sculptures, I think I realized that I was still in a way working with photography. If you think of the root word, light and image, and I'm working with light and dark. I work with a broad range of media and I have a broad range of references. And I'm always listening to podcasts or reading books and taking note of things that jump out at me. So I, I'm, I'm interested in astronomy, botany, even mythology. And the ideas that jump out at me are ones that relate to things that we can't see, things that we can't detect, things that are at the edge of perception. I often look through science journals or architectural magazines and sometimes there'll be a form I find that somehow helps me to create a shape or give form to an idea that I was looking at at the same time. So for example, when I was reading about dark matter and dark energy, and circadian rhythms. There were graphs that were used to illustrate those ideas. And I took some of those shapes and then created neon lights from them. So for example, there's a neon light work that I made that is in the shape of a circle. And it's just a white tube with 95% of it painted black. So only 5% of it is emitting light. That ratio is borrowed from the idea that everything that we can see in the universe is only 5% of what is actually there. The other 95% is dark matter and dark energy. At the moment, I'm working a lot with architectural models. I've become more and more interested in sacred spaces, cosmic spaces. For me, that's another way of exploring the unknown. A studio space is somewhere that we can collect material and make a mess and make mistakes and experiment and having a studio space has made a really big difference to the way I work. Before moving into the ACE studio during lockdown I was just working at home and it gives permission to make a mess to test things out. I think as an artist it's quite it can be quite lonely how we work so it is nice to have a sense of community having having a workplace to come to and having colleagues to be able to talk to or unwind with. That's been a really great benefit to working here at ACE.